Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be trying even more snacks from Russia. This is part two of our Russian snack haul. Big, big thank you to our friend Dimitri for sending all these snacks to us from your country. Thank you for the card as well. You know, we have viewers from all over the world and we are extremely lucky. And uh, we feel that everybody that we meet, no matter which country you're from, you are our brothers and sisters. And the reason why we bring this up is because anything Russia at the moment is a very sensitive topic. Uh, we don't approve of the war. I really hope that the war ends really soon and our hearts go out to everybody involved in the war. So, ready to try more snacks from Russia? Okay. Okay. Alright, let's get started. Hmm? So, we're going to start off with the tea. We need something oh. to drink. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In part one, we have two types of tea. Exactly. And this is um, Silong Tea. Oh. And this is from a pretty major company. And I, I think they've been making tea for a long time. Yeah. And it's kind of interesting because uh, if, when you open it, look. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So many tea packets in here. <laughs> Neatly arranged. It is beautiful and it smells amazing. Oh, regular packages. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So, uh, smell it. It smells amazing. Mm. Yeah? I don't know if you guys ever heard of Russian tea. Have you heard of Russian tea? No. No? Really? Here I in don't know. Well, probably because you're more of a coffee drinker. But here in Japan, when we used to go to the coffee shops, um, I used to go to a coffee shop with my dad and my mom, uh, they always had Russian tea. Mm. Yeah, and I've learned, at least here in Japan, Russian tea is tea, black tea, with uh, jam. You mix some jam into it to sweeten it. it so It's Russian tea. Well, um, according to the coffee shop here in Japan oh. at least. So oh. I, I'm not sure. Oh. Let, let me know if um, oh. that is considered Russian tea I in don't know Russia. That. Okay, so let's let that brew for a minute or two. And let's uh, start with some kind of snack. We have a nice uh, variety of savory and sweets today. Savory? Mm. So, savory is good for this tea? Sure, I think okay. the tea goes with tea goes with anything. Okay, so first one. Mm. We had a similar stuff in part one. The donut shaped snack. Right, that looks like pretzels, but didn't taste like pretzels. Uh, ring. The ring. Ring one. Yeah, now these are lighter colored. Mm. The, the one in part one was a darker color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think it's the same thing. Mm. 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 These are really good. This is like crackers. Mm. For me, mm. it's breakfast thing. <laughs> These are the same <laughs> thing. Why why do you why does this remind you of breakfast? It's like a cereal, don't you think so? Cereal? No, for me this is more like cracker or like hard bread. Yeah, cracker or hard bread, yes, mm. that's true. Mm. But like the flavor is like cereal. No. Don't you think so? Mm -mm. Unsweetened cereal. Unsweetened cereal? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I guess so, but I mean, more like crackers, like I, I feel like eating this with cheese. Oh, mm. like a milk. Milk? Pour, pour over this? milk on this. No, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so interesting. Or yogurt. Or yogurt? Okay. <laughs> Please teach me how to eat this. <laughs> I think you just kind of eat it like a snack or, you okay. know, like crackers, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, um, let's do this one next then. Okay, so these are uh, biscuits. Uh, this company has been making this since 1913. It's a company called Bolshevik. And this is called Anniversary. Yeah, I googled everything. Not exactly sure if I'm correct, but... They look like this. Oh, they're actually cookie. very, very pretty. Yeah, mm. and they smell amazing. Like they smell very nostalgic to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells kind of nostalgic. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Milky, milky cookie. Mm. No, they're like mm. cream crackers, mm. and it tastes a little bit coconutty to me as well. Mmm. That's delicious. Let me take your tea bag out of the mm -hmm. cup. I think this is milk. You're right. You're probably right. I don't think it's coconut. It's just probably my brain playing tricks on me. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
Mm. Seiron tea. Yes. It's very nice, isn't it? Mm. I actually had one this morning already. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because there were so many tea bags. So I had to have one in the morning. And mm. I, I really like this tea. Mm. It has a nice very flavor. Straight for the black tea. <laughs> yes. But I think, well, this is just my opinion. I think it's better than Lipton. It is better than Lipton to me. So, next one. Mm -hmm. Also, the savory one. It's pretzel. Pretzels. We also have pretzels in part one. Mm -hmm. It was called beer snack or something. Beer snack, mm. beer snack, and flavor is like beer bread. Okay, but this one is like a this flattened is... pretzel. It's like a senbe. Yeah, it reminds me <laughs> of senbe, like senbe. rice cracker. But hmm, interesting. Did not Shape expect it to be this pressed, flat. Pressed pretzel. <laughs> it's like a flattened pretzel. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> tabio. Mm. Is it? It's similar to the first one. The first one, the previous video. But I feel like this one has some kind of flavor. Uh, onion flavor. Oh, that's right. Onion. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so I could immediately taste something. Onion, onion. Yeah, mm. onion. Mm. yeah, yeah. Well, these are like onion pretzels, mm. but flattened. Mm. And crispier than pretzels, I think. Mm. Mm. This is also beer friendly. For sure. <laughs> Very beer friendly. Ginger biscuit. Ginger biscuit. Mm, okay. It's a Christmas stuff. The package is Christmas. It's very very design. festive. Yeah. Okay. I love gingery things. Hopefully there's no cinnamon in here for Satoshi. Yeah, they do kind of look like the the color is like gingerbread cookie color. Hmm. I take small one. Hmm. That's care. That is yummy. Gingerbread. Gingerbread, not very sweet, which is great actually. Sorry, there's definitely cinnamon here for sure, but it's not like super super strong. I mean, I was just gonna say I don't know why you, you don't like cinnamon. Cinnamon is like one of my favorite spices, but you know, I'm, I'm I mean, there are people who don't like cinnamon. Even our viewers, some of them don't like cinnamon. Many of you guys don't like cinnamon, I think. So this one's a cool package. Like it's very I don't know. This reminds me of Russia, I guess. Either the name of the factory or the company, it's Red October and Alianka. Alianka, I think, sorry, I think Alianka is the name of the company. And this is milk chocolate and Alianka is uh, one of the most iconic Russian chocolates. Hey. The most iconic. Hey. So let's give this a try. Iconic means? Mm, like, um, I, I guess everyone knows it. It's like maybe Meiji in Japan or Morinaga and Meiji. <laughs> Interestingly, it tastes like Meiji chocolate. But mm. there is something. What is this? Slightly different flavor. It's milky. It's milky, very milky milk to chocolate. Me. Mm. Mm. But it isn't the sweet side. There is a, something like tea flavor. Really? Mm. I don't know if there's there is any no tea, tea in here. Mm. The essence of tea, especially Puar tea. Puar tea? Mm. Really? You have a very vivid um, imagination or like interesting taste buds. I don't taste any tea in here. It's not tea. Mm. It, I, no, it's, they don't use tea. Mm. But something like that. Mm. The essence of pure tea. Mm. It's a very smooth chocolate. It's delicious actually. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I wasn't expecting much because I was reading an article online by a Russian person. And this particular person says he doesn't like this, but I like it. I think it's very smooth chocolate and it's tasty. Mm. Something bitterness. Something, Something bitterness. Mm. Chocolate bitterness? I, Cocoa I bitterness? I believe so. <laughs> you believe so. Okay, what are we having next? Okay, so in front of me, there mm. is a gummy candy. Okay. Sugarless pineapple gummy candy. Okay, right. And this one's supposed to be healthy. Sugarless. <coughs> yeah, sugarless. <laughs> okay. Something fruity. Oh, oh. It's big. Yeah, so they're individually packaged. Oh. And so one size is pretty Whoa. big. Yeah. Wow, it's like a jelly. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. That yeah, that's pretty big. <laughs> it's a triple size of Japanese gumi candy. Yeah, it looks like it's made with agar. I mean, it kind of looks like it. Mm. Mm. 
テクスチャーじゃないかアガー。Like アガー。うん。なグミ。なグミ。And it has a sourness of pineapple.、うん、The tartness.、うんうんおお、うんうんうんうん。え、これアガーがある。アガー、アガー、アガー。おめえ、これ、ディスティクシャーイズナッデラティン。うんうん。I like it. I've never had like um a a, a sweets like this before. <laughs> this texture, ね。サワー。よ。Because this is healthy, they're most likely using just real pineapple juice. And once again, it's sugarless. And that's sugarless? Why,、mm, it's sugarless. There's no sugar in here. Oh, yeah. This is natural sweetness. Natural、oh. sweetness of the pineapple,、oh. which is、mm. probably why it、wow. sour. Mm. <laughs> Oishi, I like it. Okay, here's another interesting one. This is called pastilla, and this is,、uh, you know, at first, this box, I thought it was tea. You know, oh, isn't it? No, it's not tea. <laughs> When I opened it, I was like, what? Yeah, it's, a, it's some kind of cake. Like this.、Ooh. And I、What? did some research and it says they've been eating this cake since 1888. Oh, 150 years. So,、hey. and I guess it's eaten at tea time. And it's a simple、uh, cake made with sugar, eggs, and apple puree. What? Sugar, eggs, eggs? and apple puree. Apple no flour.、Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure there's flour in here. But look, it's kind of like a layer.、Mm. Almost looks like custard a little bit. Here, it's、hey. so interesting to me. See, you can smell the apple. apple. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Distinctive apple taste. Very distinctive. How they make this strong apple taste in this cake? I'm thinking the same thing. Like, why is the apple flavor so strong?、Mm. It's almost like you don't even taste the cake. But then the texture is cake. But. But the flavor. A little bit bouncy. The regular cake?、Yeah. It's maybe it's because of jam? Is it a simmered apple? Simmered apple with egg and. Oh my god, I love this! It's almost、sugar. like there's no flour.、Mm. To me, like, I don't really taste the flour. I don't even feel the flour、mm. in my mouth.、Mm. It, like, like, once you start chewing, it's almost like you're just eating apple. <laughs> apple、so、maybe. puree. Beat eggs,、mm. beat eggs、mm. and combined sugar and apple jam. You know, I think you may be right because I did research and it didn't say there was flowers, it's apple, sugar, and eggs. I, oh my god, this is such a <laughs> unique treat! Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is very new, new for me. Me too,、mm. brand, brand new. Next one is also candy. Okay, strawberry soft candy,、mm -hmm. frutella. frutella. Okay, so this looks like it's strawberry and cream. Oh, okay, so this is like a chewy candy, I think. And it's a, it's, it's a, it's a two tone candy. There's white and then there's、uh, pink. It's thick. Uh oh, <laughs> here you go. You want mine? It's like taffy.、Mm. It's like a taffy.、Mm. Strawberry, strawberry yogurt flavor.、Mm. Strawberry. You're right. No, no. Strawberry, it's, it's strawberry cream. I think the, the sourness is from the strawberry.、Oh, really? The tartness of the strawberry. That's from yogurt.、Mm -mm. I don't know. No, you may be right. It does taste like yogurt, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does taste like yogurt. That's kind of amazing because it actually tastes like real strawberries. I wonder if they're using real strawberries. I think so. Yeah,、mm. it doesn't taste artificial.、Mm. Let's do this one. Okay, so this. Is a cream and chocolate candy, and this company has been making these since 1967 using no artificial ingredients. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I know it's kind of cool looking, right? It's like there's all black, but then there's like two white ones. <laughs> and no, it was no, like no. two, there's like two white blocks. I don't think so. That cap, it's cap. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, look. When I first opened it, look, I, I noticed that there were two white ones like this. I thought, wow, that's a cool design. Nope. Satoshi figured it out. Look, the top <laughs> came off.、Yeah. That's the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> Do I take you on? Marshmallow? No, it's like marzipan. No, it's marshmallows. Marshmallow. Mmm.、Mm -hmm. I did not expect that. Mm. It's fun, you know, when you can't read the packaging. 
All I know is that it was chocolate and cream, but now we know it's a marshmallow on the inside. Fluffy marshmallow in, mm. inside. Mm. 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 Not very sweet. Mm. Mm. Easy. Yeah. Chocolate to part them. Easy to need this. <laughs> no, I know. I know. You know what I'm noticing so far? Probably. I don't know. I haven't tried all the snacks from every single country. Mm -hmm. However, at mm -hmm. this moment, mm -hmm. I think America mm -hmm. and the UK has the sweetest candies like compared to other countries that we've tried so far. We don't know. We don't know. But like, um, like th these aren't that sweet. Next, mm -hmm. the bear, bear snack, bear Ooh. company. Bear, bear design company. Right, teddy bear. Teddy bear. We tried uh, something from this company mm -hmm. the last time. Mm -hmm. That was really good. It was good. So this one is individually packed. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was a way fast one. Wafers. Okay, and what's this one I wonder? Okay, this one is like a chocolate. It's like a bonbon. Mm. This is a wafer too. Oh, it's a wafer. Mm. What is she now? It's mm. not wafers. Mm. This one is sweeter than the previous chocolate. Yeah, I think so. Mm. This one is dark chocolate, mm. but it's not like bitter dark chocolate, so I think even if you like milk chocolate, you'll like this one. Mm -hmm. This um, way fast part is mm. not layer. No. Mm. It has a uh, malt taste. Yeah, yeah. Malty taste. At mm. first, I, I thought maybe it was like hazelnut flavor or something. I don't know. Malt, like, I, I think it's malt. Probably, you're probably right. Mm. The next one is called Yashikino, and these are lemon wafers. Lemon wafers? Yeah, although on the packaging, it looks like there's lemon and lime. And this That's is interesting. It is. And what makes it special, according to my research, is that it's seven layers. Oh. It's a seven layer wafer. Mm. 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 This is good. It's amazing to me. Anything wafers one is good for me. For me, this I... is taste sensation. <laughs> you yeah, for, for me, yeah. It, it's because it's lemon, I love it. Because, mm. you know, usually when we get wafers, when we eat wafers, it's never lemon flavor. Mm. I love it, it's like a lemon pie. Mm. Oh! Um, this lemon, the interesting point. Mm. This lemon, they use, this, this is a peel. It has a little bit unique flavor. Like, sancho pepper, sancho Japanese pepper. Sancho Japanese pepper? Of course, they don't use it. Mm. But the, the, some part of lemon mm. has this flavor. It's a white part. Maybe the rind. Rind mm. part. Could be. Could be. But I like it. Mm. Which means it tastes very natural. Mm -hmm. It does taste, taste like natural lemon. So next one is Rot From. Mm -hmm. The company. Company name is Rot From. Um, they, use, they make more than 200 kind of candies. So yes. This is the one of them. Yeah, pretty major company. Mm -hmm. The package mm -hmm. design, what is this? So this is a candy. And from my Google Translate, it says it's a caramel barberry. Not really sure what that means. Maybe it's some kind of berry. Or maybe barberry means uh, cranberry or something. Makaka. Oh, it, oh, it's a hard candy. Mm. 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 It's kind mm. of like cherry. It's berry. Mm. Berry or cherry. Oh. Wait a minute. Mm. I was trying to figure out what, what the flavor is. It reminds me of cherry. Mm. But maybe it's not cherry. It's difficult to know from this picture. Mm -hmm. I don't know this fruit. Mm. But it's good. It's mm. yummy. It's very fruity. If you like cherry flavor, you'll like this. Yeah, I really don't know. But my Google Translate says this is a caramel barberry. Although there's no caramel. Maybe the caramel is inside? Okay, so I got to the middle. I got to the inside. And there's actually nothing on the inside. So the, it's just a hard candy. Okay, so the next one is another candy. This is red currant candy with hibiscus and green tea. Ooh. Yeah, it's called verbena. And I'm not sure if that is the name of the company or the candy. 
but these are smaller candy. I think it's hard candy. And this one has something on the inside. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. Little Ooh. sour. Mm. It, 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 it's the um, tartness from the red currant. Oh, I yeah. see. And hibiscus is sour too. And I do taste a little bit of the green tea as well. Inside is it? Inside is like a jelly. Mm. 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 And it makes it even more stronger. Mm. Especially the fruity flavor. Mm. I'm liking this one too. Mm. Mm. Good, good fruit. And black currant. Mm -hmm. The flavor. Mm. I think it's a very well balanced flavor. Mm. You know, because of the... Especially because of green tea. I think that adds something to the candy. So next one is from Nestle, mm -hmm. Nuts Duo, right? And this the brownie is flavor. Brownie flavor, okay. Brownie Ooh. flavor. What shall I imagine? Br mm -hmm. Brownie flavor. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Maybe nuts. Look at it. It's caramelly. It is very, very like ooey gooey on the inside. Chocolate and the caramel flavor. I think so. I don't know. But let's give it a try. Mm. It does taste like a brownie. Oh, I, I yeah, it tastes like a brownie. Like because there's caramel in it, I thought it was gonna be more caramelly. But flavor-wise, it's more chocolatey than caramelly. Chocolate, caramel, and flower flavor. <laughs> flower. So maybe there's like a cake on the inside. I think so. You think so? Mm. Cakey flavor. Even the texture is a little bit like you know cakey brownie a little bit. Mm. Chocolate, caramelly, mm. cakey. Texture. That was very unexpected. It's actually <laughs> pretty good. Okay, next one is from a company called Babevsky. And this company was founded in 1804 and is the oldest confectionery company in Russia. Hey. Yeah. And this is a chocolate, uh, mandarin orange, and walnut uh, chocolate. So lots of um, nuts in there. Mm. Mmm, mmm. Immediately, I get the orange, mm. the mika. Mm. Mm. Bitter chocolate. Yeah, bitter mm. chocolate, chocolate with orange mm. and nuts. And nuts. Wow. I love this one. The bitter chocolate, but it's it has very good depth. To it. it does. It's mm. good chocolate, isn't it? Mm. 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 Yeah, this one is like mm. probably chocolate-wise the best chocolate we've had so far, mm. 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 like quality-wise. Yeah. Very creamy, like you said, very, very rich. Eye-opening chocolate. Mm. And I know many of you guys don't like the, the orange chocolate combo, but this is pretty good. I know you don't like orange chocolate combo. But what, orange what is though? very less. That's true. It's just mm. like a hint of mm. orange, right? Mm. Mm. The last two are both are from Rita Sports. Richard Sport. Yes. One is coffee in cereal. Right. And another mm -hmm. one is, is uh, or uh, orange and um, almonds. Ah, it's for yours. Yeah. So let's try the coffee and cereal first. Okay. I'm actually oh, very curious. It's to two layer. Oh, it is two layers. Wow. Mmm. 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 Mm. Cereal inside. Mm. Coffee flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like mm. mocha. Like mm. mocha almond fudge. Mmm. Mmm. Love it. Love it. Mm. Good, good, good. Yeah, the nuts add a, uh, no, not nuts, the cereal mm. has a really nice texture. Mm. The sakuto texture. You know, and this one is the orange almond. Orange and chocolate. Yes, orange. Orange and chocolate is a good combination. I think she sent to, for me this one. And that is for you. Probably. Probably. Mmm. I like it though. It's a bitter chocolate. It's dark chocolate, mm. so it's not that sweet. And ah, orange kita. Mm. <laughs> and there's quite a lot of almonds in there, which is really nice. Gives a nutty flavor. And the orange for me is not like super strong. It's like in the background. Interesting mm. thing. This chocolate is mm. not sweet. Mm. It's bitter. Mm. bitter. But good bitter, right? Good bitter. Mm. Um, and it doesn't disturb the by orange flavor. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting, really. <laughs> like, do you like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is mine. You like the <laughs> coffee one more? Really? I actually prefer this one. 
So you may be right. Dimitri probably sent that one for you and this one for me. All right, so we have finished all of the snacks from Russia, part one and part two. I gotta say, I really enjoyed trying all of it because like I mentioned, you know, we've never tried uh, Russian snacks before. We don't know what to expect. All I knew was that, you know, I liked Russian tea. So, um, what was your, what were your favorites from today's batch of snacks? Ooh, you went for that immediately. What, the lemon wafers? Lemon wafers. Mm. This is sensational for me. Totally. What's your second favorite? Ah, uh, the cake. The cake. Mm. The, uh, this one, the apple mm -hmm. puree apple cake. Puree cake. Amazing, right? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, this structure is very curious for me. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny to me. But this was actually my favorite. This one, the apple puree cake. Amazing! Oh my god! I've never had mm. anything like this before. I don't even know how to describe it. And my second favorite is the sugarless pineapple oh. agar <laughs> thing. I don't even know what to call it because... Yeah, the texture is agar, right? Isn't it unique? Agar. Like it's like mm. I, like I'm speechless. I didn't expect that texture. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. And I like the, the, the it's sour because you know that there's no sugar in it and it's just the sweetness from the mm. pineapple. Once again, thank you so much to Dimitri for sending us all these snacks to try. We really enjoyed it, and thank you guys for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please let us know if you had any favorites. Let us know your favorites in the comments down below. And if you enjoy videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye guys. Peace.